Once upon a time, there lived two kings. One was King Kral of Roosterland, who was very greedy and always dissatisfied. The other one was the plump, good-hearted King Bonnie of Pretzeland. King Bonnie was so plump because he liked to eat sweets and pretzels all the time. One day, King Kral thought to himself, how nice it would be if I could add King Bonnie's land to my own kingdom. Hereupon, he summoned all the ministers to ask their advice on how to conquer Pretzel Land. King Kral showed his minister the map of the two kingdoms and asked, Well, my good ministers, how can we conquer King Bonnie's kingdom? The ministers consulted one another, and then the eldest minister spoke. Your Majesty, that's not easy. We would have to declare war on King Bonnie. But we know that he has a strong army and is generally well prepared for war. We believe that we would lose the war against King Bonnie, and our soldiers would have to fight for nothing. Surely, your majesty wouldn't want that. No, I certainly wouldn't want that, said King Kral. But he was not satisfied. How can I win King Bonnie's kingdom for myself? He sighed. All of a sudden, the evil witch Teta appeared before him. <laughs> she cackled. I know your wish, and I heard what your ministers have said. But do not despair, for I know how King Bonnie can be conquered without fighting. So you know a way, said the king. How will you go about it? Your Majesty, I will use my witchcraft, said Teta. I will wear down King Bonnie and his people to the point that King Bonnie will gladly surrender his throne, his people, and all his land to you. Well, if you can do that, said the king, then I will allow you to proceed and will not interfere in the witchcraft, and if you succeed, you will be richly rewarded. A few days later, King Kral invited King Bonnie for a visit. The two kings chatted with each other as good neighbors do. Oh, what a thoughtful host you are, said King Bonnie. You are serving me so many delicious goodies which I love to eat. Just see how plump I am. Of course I cannot go hiking or riding anymore. I haven't been able to for a long time now, but that doesn't bother me. Say, what are you eating there? Nothing but fruit. Apples, pears, grapes, bananas. That's all just watery stuff. Yuck, I don't like that. Oh well, to each his own, thought King Kral. But he thought to himself, King Bonnie won't live long. One can see all those sweets are destroying King Bonnie. The following night, the witch Teta knocked on the gate to the castle of King Bonnie and asked to be admitted. I have an important message for the king, she said. King Bonnie, you are a mighty and beloved ruler, but because you are so loved and admired, your neighbor is very envious. I have come to tell you that King Kral intends to go to war with you. You, O oh great king have to make your people strong so they can resist the enemy. This is terrible news. It's hard to believe, exclaimed King Bonnie. I haven't wronged anyone, but I know that I am envied. However, I can also understand that I have to make my people strong. So please tell me, how can I do that? Oh, your majesty, that's quite easy, said the witch. You must advise your people to live right, 
They should stay in their homes and not go out into the fresh air nor exercise. They should smoke lots of cigarettes or cigars and drink plenty of liquor or beer. The children also should remain indoors and inhale the smoky air. Suggest to the people to eat many sweets, sugary buns, candies, chocolate, but also salty foods, fat meats, soups with lots of pepper, and also oily french fries. They should not eat any fruit like apples, pears, grapes, berries, or bananas. No vegetables such as beans, peas, potatoes, spinach, or fresh lettuce either. They should not have any yogurt, cheese, butter, or eggs. They should not eat chicken or fish or drink any juice. The good King Barney believed what the witch suggested. He told it to all his people and they listened to his words because they loved and trusted him. But things did not go well. The people became either very fat or very thin. The children grew pale and skinny. Please help me, cried a little boy. I cannot stand any more. Mother, look, my kitty is dead. They could not eat our food anymore, a little girl complained. The men said, we don't want to work anymore. Smoking, drinking, and loafing around are much more fun. When King Bonnie finally noticed the poor condition his people were in, he called for the witch Teta. <laughs> the witch thought, my advice was successful, but I will do worse things to him. She brought a box to the king and said, Her Majesty, see what I have for you. This is miraculous medicine. But actually, there were drugs poisonous powders and poisonous cigarettes in the box. You must give these to your people, said the witch, and then they will become healthy and happy again. The king smoked one of the poisonous cigarettes. He fell asleep and had crazy dreams, because he did not know that the powders were poison and not good medicine, they were distributed to his people. But the people who took some of that powder got worse and not better. One day, the king's nephew came for a visit. His name was Walter of Bio. He was quite amazed. Well, what is the matter with these folks? They are totally worn out. That must have been some witchcraft, Walter said to his uncle the king. Didn't you notice anything? The wicked witch wanted to destroy you and your people, but it is not too late. You can still rescue your people. You have to destroy all those drugs and poisonous cigarettes. Distribute food that is healthy, like fruit and vegetables, honey, yogurt, milk, eggs, bread, chicken and juice. People should again enjoy the fresh air by biking, hiking, swimming and tobogganing. The children should play <laughs> in the fresh air to their heart's content. And so it happened. The people grew healthy again and were full of joy and praised the King and Walter of Bio. The wicked witch Teta was banished from the kingdom of Pretzeland and not allowed ever to return, and King Kral was never able to conquer King Bonnie's happy, healthy kingdom.